Hey guys, this is Rob John Webb here for Wax of This Music, and what I'm going to show you today is another short cakewalk tutorial. Well, not so much a tutorial, but a more of a walkthrough with some of the free presets that are built into Cakewalk. Um, in my previous video, I was talking about how you should explore Cakewalk and download it for free because it's available now as a full package. Um, I just thought I'd go through a few of the features on the full package that you get just to perhaps convince you slightly even more just to get it even if it's just for testing out for trials or just for fun or if you want to do it seriously um, and add another string to your bow then it's really worth checking out so as I say um, it's got loads of free built-in presets which are really pretty cool and I'm going to go through those now so what you do is you get a, a blank track up you go to insert and you go to soft synth and across here are your, your soft synths so first of all we've got a bass guitar click on that and press OK um, and it's got like a, a virtual bass on the screen as you can see so so you've got a standard sort of you know a, a real live bass guitar so. um, but then what you've got is uh, in here you've got a load of presets and um, so you've got like your muted guitar which is pretty cool so um, so you've got that uh, and then you've got loads of more you know brighter bass so You've got all of the features. You've got all the features as you would have with the real bass. You've even got a dance synth, which is kind of a little bit more rounded. And, um, and then you've got a fat sub, which is... Uh, and then you've got like a 303, which is kind of acid -y. Um, so, you know, you've got that uh, in there, but with uh, if you're using a real bass, for example. Um, so imagine you've got a normal bass guitar in there. You've got a... I'm going to play a little riff. Put the slide up. And you can bend it. So just for that extra sort of, that realistic sort of approach, I suppose. Turn the slide down a bit more. A little bit wonky there, but the whole point of it is it, it tries to replicate a real bass. There, it's better. Turn the slide down a bit more. So if you slap the keys and then roll the key over, and it bends. So that you know you've got that. So you've got also in here you've got these little uh, patches as well. So if you open up one electric and rock, grab that and put it into there, and it plays it for you. Put that one in there. Jazz or blues, a bit of jazz, and then you've got your rock and soul and funk and stuff like that. So that's the bass, okay? Then what we've got is uh, we have got the Cakewalk TTS1, which is the general MIDI sort of synth. Um, and I really like this, it's got all of the classic sounds that you'd get in on any uh, MIDI keyboard. So when it comes up like this. You click on this one here, you've got all the different channels here you can assign each thing to. And then when you click on channel one, you open up the panel here and you've got your cutoffs and your resonance and all your bass and stuff and your attack. And then you click on the right in where it says piano and you choose preset and then here are all the different pianos, all your chromatics, organs, guitars and so on. So you've got all those in there, but in here you've got your drum kit, so you've got the analog set, which is basically an eight to weight kit. So on and so on, you know, you've basically got an 808 kit in there. Um, but not only that, if we go back into it, um, we open up, we've got all some nice sort of, you know, orchestral ensemble sounds. Um, so if you want to get some strings, you know, you've got... Um, you know, so you've got all them built in. So as I say, anything that you need, you know, when you want to make a demo, uh, and you just want a quick pad, you know, you don't want to be faffing around too much. You just want to get a track down. You want to get a lane, an arrangement down. Just get the pads in, you know, it's a standard set. Um, so, yeah, if you want to get a quick drum machine in there and a quick things like that. Or you just want to get a good quick piano. You want to get a, uh, a quick road, you know. Uh, so you've got all of them, as I say, you've got all those sounds built in. Uh, there's literally hundreds in there. Um, all of those, 
are in there. So that's the TTS one. And then what else we've got in here is we go back into the thing. We've got uh, bass. You've got a drum set. So you've got this drum set here, which is like um, session drummer. Um, and it's Kate Walk's natural, real drumming uh, machine. And it's absolutely brilliant. It's got some great stuff in it. Uh, it's got loads of presets in, as you would imagine. Um, but just imagine a standard, straightforward kit. So let me just show you what it looks like on the screen. You've got like a, a virtual kit set up. So. Um, so you've got all them and then you've got different patterns down here. Obviously you've got your rock pattern. So if we open that up, just drag one of them in. And you can hit each one as well. And so on. So you've got that. Um, I need to turn that off now. So stop that, just click on it, and there we go. And just X those out. So you've got all those different kits in there. You know, there's absolutely loads and loads of kits that you can trial. Um, a bit heavier. Um, so that's that, and then you've got an electric piano, which is a nice Rhodes uh, piano here, which is built in, which has got some really nice tonalities as well, you know, so for example, like, I don't know. And you can put the drive on and, and, you know, really give it some, like it would in the 70s. Turn the tremolo on. There you go, look. So, you know, it's got, it's got all the... Uh, take off the drive, I suppose. I'll put a bit of chorus on it, make it, make it a bit more warmer. So, yeah, so you've got that as well built in, um, which I think is pretty cool. Obviously, if you put in some of the, the patterns uh, down here... So yeah, as I say, it's capable of a lot of a lot of pretty cool stuff. So that's the roads, um, and then what we've got is the strings, which I think are really good. I think it's really, you know, to get this for free is pretty impressive. Um, and it's got a little orchestra that comes. And every time you play the string, um, let's just choose a string sound. <laughs> So that, you know, in itself is, is a really nice sound. And you can go into that and you can get a lot more, obviously, movie strings, mystery strings. Let's try the mystery one. It's got a bit more of a, 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 a tremolo to it. So yeah, you got that, and um, then we've got section strings, which is obviously all of them together. You know, um, more of a, an orchestral, heavier. So that's that, um, and then you've got slow strings, which you know, obviously, a lot of the attack is uh, quite high on it. You know, pretty sad stuff. Um, and then the symphony, which is just, you know, grand and big. So, yeah, you've got all these different string sounds in here, which, you know, just this alone is worth getting hold of um, Cakewalk for. Because I always find that a good string section is hard to come by, especially for free. So. Yeah, 
Okay, so that's it really. We've got the string section, you've got the roads, you've got the live drum kit, you've got the TTS um, general MIDI sounds um, and the electro 808 drum kit style, 808 style drum kits, um, and the bass guitar. So all of those are built in. And plus you've got all of your different effects down here as well. Um, you've got your, your delay, your dynamics, and all your gates, compressors, and your filters, and your wah-wah, and modulation, and your reverbs. Um, it's all there. You've got all of those. And then don't forget on your channels itself, you've got your compressor and your EQ all built into each one. Um, so it saves you, you know, having to do it on every track, that, every track that when you when you you know you're arranging the song out, um, or your mix mixing desk is is there. Each um, different panel is is purposely built in to each track, which is brilliant. Uh, a great little time saving device. So that's it, really. They're the built the built in preset sounds for Cakewalk. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, the link for Cakewalk by Bandlab is at the bottom of this video. Uh, in the description and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you soon thank you for watching and any questions you have just email me and i respond within 24 hours thank you and goodbye